in a few days I'm taking a train to some random place and I noticed a few weeks ago a few months ago that the train has two minute intervals meaning one train comes wait two minutes the next train is there next two minutes the next train is there and I thought to myself isn't this a bit dangerous you know I'm not an engineer I just thought you know there's not enough space between the trains this is crazy all because we're not able to wait waiting is something that's complete like not, not completely like mostly very much unknown to this generation this popcorn generation this um microwave generation is crazy it's really crazy you know <sighs> and i find it interesting you know that uh one of the first descriptions attributes of love in first corinthians 13 is patience love is patient of his kind da, 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 da. but it says love is patient and since we know that god is love that verse is basically saying the first attribute of god if we dissect him if we dissect love if we dissect who he is is patience that's the first thing we see there because god is love dissect that love you find patience as number one so patience is the primary attribute of love according to that verse now patience patient i just found out uh comes from the latin word that i believe is also pronounced like patient and in in latin it basically means suffering it just says suffering that's what it means for them when you say patient or patient for them you're saying suffering i'm gonna go through a lot of suffering i'm gonna go through a lot of patience because if you think about it when you're waiting for something your your mind is suffering in a way if you're waiting longer than two minutes for a train <laughs> i don't know it's a it's an element there's an element of suffering so other other thingy things other versions say love is long suffering so the ability to suffer long is the primary attribute of God. He waits for all of us to get our act together. You know, I've heard stories of people. God waits on them, waits on them. They were friends with God in like, in like pubs and uh, in clubs and all that. I've heard of prostitutes that know Jesus really well, and I'm like, yeah. I can tell they know Jesus really well because of the stories they're telling. It's crazy. That's a long suffering. They were in the same long, long, long time. God waited all that time. It was long suffering for Moses. Moses had to be, yeah, God and Moses had to be long suffering with each other. 40 years in the wilderness. 40 years. Moses alone before he went to Egypt. He had to wait. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Time goes. Another person, Enoch, 365 years he lived. Around, uh, uh, let's say what? Around 300. He sought God with patience, with long suffering. You know, it's not easy to see God. It's a form of suffering because your mind, your body is telling you to go one way. You suffer going another way. So. Shall we grow in our patience? I'm growing in my patience. Learning to wait. You know, 
the Bible says, wait on God, wait on Him. In the wilderness, with the Israelites, they had to wait for the cloud to move forward. It would either, it would either raise and move forward, or it would stop. And then it'd have to stop with it. It would raise again, then it would move with it, then stop, stop with it. In those stopping moments, they had to be patient. It only took 11 days to get from Egypt to the Promised Land. 11 days. If I was part of that group, I'd be like, yo, we can take five days. It's quick and easy, bro. Quick and easy. We, I'm, I'm not afraid of those uh, guys in the, in the, those giants in the land. No, 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 no. God has another plan. Because it's in that wait that you get to know a person. As you're waiting for a train, you can talk to hey, 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 her, 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 whoever is there. But God wants you to get to know him in the wait. He wants you to forget about the promised land in the wait. He wants you to forget about the promises in the wait. And he wants himself to become your first love in the wait. So your whole world revolves around him. Bam. Awesome.